I thought I might just show then some, some recent examples of, of how we've achieved that. So some of this material is not public yet, so um, I need to be a little bit sensitive. But here's a, here's a great example. Um, Gold Coast City Council. Um, this is their vision for surface paradise. Beautiful little booklet. Very, very nicely done. You know, very engaging, lovely little coffee book, you know, coffee top uh, booklet. If I put that all out there amongst you all and said, oh, okay, I'd like you to spend 15 minutes flicking through that, then I want to have a conversation about the vision for surface paradise. Again, I, I'd, I'd be interesting to see what conversation we could have. So what we were asked to do is to take that booklet and to turn it into a, a three or four minute presentation that could be used you know, via social media, YouTube, a whole range of other things, Facebook, et cetera, et cetera, to, to get out and link to audiences. This hasn't been released yet. Um, and I'll just show you a bit of it because it's, it's, it's six minutes long, but. I'll probably just, just stop it there. We'll come back and show a little bit more of that a little bit later. But in essence, again, it was just taking this, taking that existing content and repurposing it into, into digital, digital technology and to ensure that it could be provided via the whole range of digital delivery platforms. Given time, because I, I, there's a few other things I want to talk about. I'm not going to go through all this. Bond, I'll just do very quickly. This is fairly typical of what we would do from a marketing point of view. This presentation was simply put together to, 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 to help sell a, a block of land to Chinese investors. Simple as that. We've got a Chinese version of that, but I'm not going to show that today. But um, I'll just show this very, very briefly in terms of how we use it in the traditional architectural sense to, to communicate. And it's just incredible to see how technology is, is, is moving this forward in, in, in such remarkable ways. I think that might do with Don. You've got the picture there. Crombin Hill is a good example. This was done five or so years ago, so the technology is a little bit old. So we had a challenge with Gold Coast City Council um, um, at the time who, who didn't quite um, understand how this particular development, which is sitting on a very sensitive hill down at Corumban, which is down south, how that was going to work. And I guess they didn't quite, to be honest, they didn't quite trust what they were seeing in the traditional sections and elevations that the architects were providing. So we just said, listen, what we need to show you is physically how this is going to unfold. So again, we just used technology and storytelling to do that. So here we just simply tried to, I guess, prove that what the architects and engineers were delivering on their drawings was in fact what's going to be delivered, just using technology to show how that was rolling out. So it ended up getting its approvals, you know, and again, saved some time, saved some money, did exactly what we needed to do, but it was interesting. Prior to that, the developer had spent probably 18 months in extensive reports, a whole range of other things, trying to get this part of the project approved. We did one presentation, and again, there were other factors, but you know, the next council meeting, they approved it. Now, again, I know there are other factors involved there, but the reality is this just helped those that weren't necessarily technically based, or those that couldn't be bothered reading the reports or even comprehending the reports, with a, a comfort level. You know, I actually have a vision from an urban planning point of view to tie a lot of this into our approval process, you know, in terms of our statutory journey. 